Do you want to learn how to make WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify. So we'll move from this to this one. So this is the WooCommerce traditional checkout page. And when we are done customizing this checkout page, this is what we are going to get by the end of this tutorial very neat and clean where you have the email address field on top followed by shipping address next is shipping options payment options and one other feature i like about this checkout page is the order notes you see that in here you need to check this checkbox in order to reveal it but if you go to the traditional woocommerce checkout page the order notes field is right here for us which is kind of distracting so by the end of this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and move from here to here. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Tipu Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. Now before we dive into the tutorial, let me show you this beautiful website. If you want to learn how to create this beautiful website, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out. That being said, to make WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify, I need to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new. And the search plugins are set for WooCommerce blocks. I have WooCommerce blocks right here. I automatic, I install it. Then I go ahead and activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I go over to pages. In here, I have all the pages on my website, including the WooCommerce default pages. And the page we are looking for is checkout. So I just go ahead and edit it. And to open up in the Gutenberg editor, by default, this is the short code that gives us the traditional WooCommerce checkout page. So in here, we are going to go ahead and remove this particular short code. So I'll just go ahead and remove the entire block. So after selecting by clicking inside, I click on the three dots icon right here. Then I click on remove short code. Next, I go over to the plus icon right here. That is blocks inserter. Click on it and I search for checkout. This is the one I'm going to use. I just go ahead and click on it. And my new checkout page will be inserted. I exit from here. And this is how my new checkout page will look like after we have saved it. And this is nice and clean. So first of all, we have the contact information. That is the email address. So when the contact information is selected, you can give your users the opportunity to sign up for a new account during checkout. So if I enable this, you see a new feature that shows that the client can create a new account. There are advanced features if you want to include CSS classes, but I don't want to do that in this tutorial. Now up here is show step. That is the number we see right here. If you don't want to see the steps, you can toggle it off like this, but I think it is cool. Next is shipping address. By selecting it, you see all the options here. So at the moment, company is not enabled. If I enable it, to give users the opportunity to enter in their company details. I can also go ahead and make it a required field. You see that optional is off. Then we also have apartments, which is already enabled. If I toggle it off, apartment will go off as well as phone. However, enabling all these fields will depend upon your business model. So for now, I'll go ahead and enable them. I will make company optional, awesome. So similarly, you can go ahead and customize the rest of the fields. And when that is done, I go ahead and update. It is updated. Now I can view the page by right clicking open link in a new tab. Now if I proceed to checkout, you see the new look and feel of my checkout page. Awesome. Very little design and clean. So I have my contact information right here. The shipping address shipping options payment options this is very clean and neat and then the order summary perfect 
So that's it on how to make WooCommerce checkout page like Shopify. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.